With a little more than 240 people from 28 states participating this year, there is a plethora of Jeeps that hit the road this morning. Our Mimi Herrick found out what's kept the Black Hills Jeep Jamboree going for 32 years and counting. Jeeps of all shapes and sizes hit the road Friday morning and took on some of the Black Hills' most difficult off-road terrain. It's taken months of planning and countless people to make it happen. Uh, Jeep's special because it just brings together a whole community of people. You really like don't see a community like the Jeep people. When you're going to the gas station, you'll if there's another Jeep there, they'll come talk to you. They'll come ask you about your Jeep, and uh, it just forms a friendship right, right, pretty right, much right away. Well, it brings family together. Both me and my father own Jeeps, and we go out um, on the weekends and enjoy the outdoors. Don Patno, the local coordinator, said he's seen three different couples get engaged at the Black Hills Jeep Jamboree since it first started in 1992. The community isn't the only highlight of the weekend. It's also the first class off-roading mapped out by Patno. The difficulty of these trails range from three to nine, meaning beginners can hit the easiest trails in modified and custom Jeeps with experienced drivers can hit the harder ones. Each group has a trail leader or guide. But the purpose of the, the trail guides is to, to guide people over obstacles, which is the point of it. Um, but they can see things you can't. And if they tell you to come on, then you come on and just feel that you can, can get through it. If they know you can get through it, you can get through it. This year, the Black Hills Jeep Jamboree broke their record and had 243 people from 28 different states. Next year, they hope to draw in even more to the Black Hills. Reporting from Deadwood, I'm Mimi Herrick.